In this video, I'm showing you how to use probably one of the best clients out there from Minecraft Bedrock Edition. This being Prax. In my opinion, this client definitely has the cleanest UI, the most customization, and the best working utilities. To download Prax, you want to head over to their official GitHub page, where here you will find all of the releases. You want to select the latest one. They're still updating it, so maybe by the time you're watching this video, there will be a new release out. Either way, you want to open up this assets area over here and click on the prax.dll, which will automatically start the download. If you run into an issue where you can't download it because it says virus detected, I will leave a bypass down in the description. Of course, if you don't feel safe downloading something, don't, but I can confirm that it is completely safe to use. The reason why the DLL file gets flagged is first off because it is a DLL file and they always automatically get flagged and because of a backporting prevention software that Prax is using to basically prevent people from stealing or copying their code. Anyways, because it is a DLL file, we can't directly inject it into Minecraft and we need a program called an injector. For this I recommend Flate Client Injector which in my opinion is the best one. Anyways here you can simply click on select. If you don't have it yet I will link it down in the description below. Of course if you have another injector you can use that too. I can click on inject over here, locate it and then select the DLL. Then I can click on this inject button which will automatically inject it into Minecraft. And as you can see right off the bat here we have some pretty good looking home screen. Nice RGB, clean text, clean background, clean logo. I'm a big fan of it. So here in Minecraft, I'm going to show you all of these fun things you can do with this client. But I'm not going to go super in-depth because I actually already did that in an other tutorial. If you want to find out everything there is to know literally about this client, then I recommend you watch that. I'll put it in the description. For right now, I'm basically going to tell you everything you need to get started. You know, all the cool stuff. So you'll notice we have some things on the screen here. I'm going to explain what they are. In the bottom left, we just have some basic utilities. And in the top right we have an array list and that list basically displays everything we have enabled. You can press on the insert button to open up the clicked UI here which in my opinion is incredibly clean. I think it looks a lot better than uh, Horizon's one. Just really nice overall except that I would probably move these down because of um, the overlaying bit over here. Right, right there but for the rest really really nice right so here we will be able to find all the utilities to turn them on you can click on them to turn them off you can click on them once again as you can see you'll get really nice notifications down there telling you exactly what you're doing so everything that is highlighted like that is actually already enabled right and so you'll notice that a lot of things are going to be enabled by default. If you want your screen to be clean, you can turn off the watermark as well as the array list. And um, where is it? The level info. You can turn those all off if you wish to do so. Then you can click on escape or you can click on the insert key once again and your screen will be clean. If you can't find the insert key or stuff like that or you want to rebind the key to open up the click GUI you can open up the chat type in dot bind click GUI just like so and then any key you want for me I'm just gonna type in F now as you can see click GUI is gonna be bound to F meaning that when I click on F it's going to open up this click GUI right now that is great However, there is still actually some more things, including the IRC. So you'll have, probably have noticed some things in the chat by now. The IRC is basically an in-game relay chat, allowing you to communicate with other players also using Prax. It's enabled by default, which I don't really understand. And if you want to disable it, you can simply disable it through here as well, as you can see. Anyways, here in the top of the click GUI, you'll also notice that there is some more things. So here we have a theme where you can change the click GUI settings, including RGB settings and change font stuff up. Here we have a friends tab where you can add Prax client specific friends. So you can add the gamer tags of people you know that also use Prax. Here in the keybinds, I can find all the keybinds I currently have set up and I can 
just basically grab a list of these here if I wish to do so. As you can see right now, the click GUI as well as Aura is bound to F, which isn't the smartest thing, so I should probably redo that. And then here we have the config area, which currently we have nothing in, but we can load configs um, through here by putting them in the config folder. Anyways, back over here to the click GUI, this is where you're probably going to be spending most of your time. So in the click GUI area, some of the utilities I enjoy most and also recommend are the no camera clip one, definitely also the fly one, which actually works great with Prax, as well as free cam and actually scaffold as well. Scaffold is probably one of the most popular ones out there. Now you'll also notice that some of these have some pluses next to them. This means that you can right click on them and you'll get a little bit of a drop down menu allowing you to basically customize them. Some of them will have less and some of them like scaffold will have more customization allowing you to potentially bypass specific things or just basically tweak things to your need right so here as you can see scaffold probably has the most out of any of these and you can just tweak with this as much as you like um, figure out how you like it the best it's really great that they offer this amount of customization for the rest you'll also see that i have turned the array list back on i quite like it as it allows me to see what i'm doing let me know in the comments if you also like your array list turned on or not Anyways, for right now, that was basically that. Most of this should be pretty self-explanatory. Remember that you can also just simply hover above these and you'll get a little bit of a short brief description um, about what the utility that you're hovering above actually does. Anyways, for right now, um, that was basically that. If you do have any more questions, then do feel free to leave those down in the comments below. But for right now, thank you ever so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.